Hello, it's late afternoon, it's the middle of March, it's been a really chilly day, but actually it's been beautiful around here. I'm in Bonthi, which is on the banks of the Madhak Estuary, and I kid you not, this is one of the most spectacular natural locations in the whole of the National Park. Not only is the estuary itself so spectacular, but you can see the mountainous scenery around it, with Kadar Idris on one side, is equally as breathtaking. This is Tegfrin that I'm going to show you. It's a three-storey, stone-built, three-bedroom, mid-terrace cottage. It's got lots of character. Bonthi is situated just between Barmouth and Dorgethlai. And you can see it's late afternoon. The sun's been on the front here all afternoon and it's going to be setting over in that direction now. So if you'd like to come and have a look round, stay watching and I'll show you over. Come on, Rube. <laughs> first impressions when you arrive here are really good. This lovely three-storey bay at the front here, it's really nicely painted and well looked after. It's a good looking front door. Granted we are staying on the main road here, but the 30 mile an hour limit along here is really strictly enforced. Believe me, I've been stopped myself. Now there's one thing that any cottage is not complete without and that's an open fire or a wood burner. As you come in here, it's really welcoming. It's a lovely fireplace, and this more so stove really suits the dimensions of the room. As well as the ambience of the room, which speaks for itself here really, there's a lovely view out the front of this bay window. As opposed to a lot of cottages that have the staircase in the lounge, there's a much better arrangement here because the staircase is through this door with a little inner lobby which leads through to the kitchen at the back here. As well as the nice lighting in this kitchen, it's been well fitted out and the units have got solid wood worktops. There's no garden as such at the back, just an enclosed yard, but the kitchen looks out onto it. There's a tiled floor in the kitchen here, and as well as having plumbing for an automatic washing machine, you can see there's plenty of space for a good cooking range in here. Plus, it's quite well fitted out. There's all baskets and uh, carousel units in the corner here as well. At the back of the kitchen here, there's this understairs cupboard, so you can hide all your junk in there. And here's a little surprise for you. At the back, we go through to the passageway. This passageway is shared with next door, but in practice, I don't think it gets used very much. The passageway also serves to make your upstairs even bigger. This passageway is also useful because it's another way of getting round to your backyard. I'm sure there'll already be quite a few people, having seen what I've showed you already, want to come and view this cottage. But actually, we're only one third of the way through. And if you are coming to come and view, stop watching now and save all the surprises for later when you arrive yourself. There's a double bedroom at the back of the house through this door on the right here. And at the very back, this is the shower room. Upstairs at the front here is where, being a passageway terrace, this cottage really comes into its own. There's extra space over the passageway and it means you've got the bay window and another window at the front as well to make a fabulous first floor living room. And just look at the views from here. And as well as the storage heater that's in this room, Look, there's another more so stove to keep you warm. Sorry I haven't got this one burning. Here we are up on the top floor and I just want to show you how fantastic the sleeping accommodation is up here because as well as already having one double bedroom on the first floor, we've got two more double bedrooms up here. And this is all really nicely carpeted so it actually feels quite plush. First of all we've got this twin room which is at the back of the house. The sloping ceiling and exposed beams add to the cottage appeal, but this Velux window in the roof is a really good additional enhancement. There's more sloping ceilings in this full width master bedroom suite. The built-in wardrobe in the corner there means you can keep furniture to a minimum, but there's a great bonus here 
of an ensuite shower room. Before we go back downstairs though, I just need to show you the view out of this top floor bay window over towards Kada Idris. This is absolutely the best way for Ruby and I to end the day, by the fireside here. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you're interested. And if you'd like to come and have a look at it for yourself in a range of viewing, please give me a call on the usual number, which is 01341 281 599. At the end of this video, there's a couple of links if you want to watch my short films about Barmouth and Dog Eshley. And if you want to be kept notified about other property videos that we produce, please subscribe to Sanderson Estate Agent's YouTube channel. Once again, I'd also be glad to hear from you if you want your own property sold by video too. I'm Andy Sanderson, this is Ruby. Thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye now.